Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to one more lecture on ServiceNow 911. Today, we complete the domain separation part. This is very important, and I hope you like it. If you have not watched the part one, then please watch it. Let me share my screen. So you see, this is the part one, and it is very much mandatory to understand the complete process. So before we move further, let me show you these uh, courses which I have created for you. And these courses are related to CMDB and discovery and both languages are there, Hindi and English, okay? I have created these courses for all people who are looking for ultimate material on CMDB and discovery. We are covering almost all the topics of CMDB and discovery starting from IRE rules and, you know, all type of discovery, horizontal, vertical, service mapping, each and everything is covered here. So you can see the reviews from people. It's already, you know, three to four days and I'm getting reviews. And these reviews are five very good reviews. People are happy. So you can also go and check these courses. Okay. The first two videos are available free of cost. In the very first video, I am explaining the complete syllabus. And in the second video, which is CMDB overview, you can have the overview of complete CMDB. So from that also, you can take up the decision whether you want to purchase this course or not. The discount coupon for these courses is available in the description. So now let's move to the course. Okay, let me open the PDF here, which I have created. In part one, we have completed till here. So this is the plugin which you have to install in order to activate the complete domain separation along with the demo data, okay? So I already installed it in my instance. I hope you did it in your instance. Now let's move forward. As soon as we install the plugin, we have the demo data something like this, okay? So domains are configured in a hierarchy to structure how data and processes are managed in the environment. So you know, company is the same and we are dividing it into various domain based on the needs, based on the configurations, okay? And these domains are on hierarchy basis. It means the parent-child relationship is there. You can have more than one child for a parent and there can be, you know, further uh, top-down or top-level approaches, which we can see here. In this example, you see this is top. And this top most parent is parent of all these here. And again, it is also the grandparent of this one, okay? So something like this, the parent-child relationship is going in various levels. And the main thing is members of a domain see only the data contained within their domain or the child domains that are lower in the domain hierarchy. It means whoever is the parent will be able to see their data as well as the data in the lower domain of that particular parent. It means it can see their data or the child data. It cannot see the adjacent data. It cannot see the top level data, but only the data which is below them or their own data. So if we talk about MSP, any user who is a part of MSP will be able to see the data of MSP technician as well as their own data. It cannot see the data to any of the adjacent child or any of the child of these, you know, parents. So let's come here. Let me refresh this. Some points are there. Top is the parent domain for ACME, Intech, Oceanic, Cisco, Default, and MSP domain. Yes, top is the parent of all these domains. ACME, Intech, Ocean, and all these are the child domains of a top. Yes, we can say vice versa. Top is parent of all these or all these are the child of top. User in ACME domain cannot see data in the Intech, Ocean, Cisco, Default, or MSP domain. Any user who is a part of MSP will not see the data of any other domain which is at the same level of them so that we already know we discuss all this that msp will not be able to see any of the data apart from their data and msp technician data then next point is msp is the parent domain of msp technician yes it is seen here msp technician is child of this yes user in msp domain can see the data in the msp technician so we know that right so we can say that members of a domain see only the data contained within their domain or the child domains that are lower in the domain hierarchy. So that's we already discussed. MSP will be able to see their data or their child. Only their child, not other's child. Okay, remember that. So now this is the same thing which we have discussed here. 
now let's move to how to create a domain so very simple as soon as we you know install the plugin we have the complete domain uh, application available so now let me move to my instance and you see as soon as i opted for domain separation plugin i am able to see the domain here this is the domain right now i'm in global domain so global domain here you can say a top domain or the primary domain okay which is available for all so now if we come here we can see the domain separation application so write down domains here so here you see under domain admin everything is available so click on domains it will redirect you to the table okay so this is the domain table if you want to create a new domain you can click new here okay or and then provide the value of all these fields some important fields are there let me open one of the domain so you see this is acme domain this is the name of the domain and it is type of customer and its parent is top okay and it is active you know what is active now these are the important things so primary means the domain which is at top level this domain will not have any parent but it will have child okay so here if we come in our ppt let me move up so here the primary one is top okay this is the top domain this is the primary domain and the primary domain is only one domain you cannot have more than one primary domain it is only having childs multiple childs but no parent so this is the meaning of primary okay now let's come to default so it is saying that task and users with no domain are placed in this domain versus global domain so what is the meaning of this so when you know uh, domain separation introduced what was happening the data uh, which was having no domain is going to global domain but again this is a security issue because when it placed in the global domain it is visible to each and every domain the admins now have no control on that data everyone can see it so that's why service now brought up this concept of default domain so you can make a particular domain as a default domain okay and place the data which is not a part of any domain there and later the admin can make uh, certain uses of such uh, data or they can change the domain of such data as well the main thing is now the admin has complete control okay again here there is only one default domain okay so you can fill up all these things and then create your domain so i hope this is clear now so now let me show you certain uh, examples how domain separation is actually achieved here so now right now i am in global domain let me open one incident form in this particular incident form i have the domain also here so this very first incident is a part of this particular domain not a global domain so let me open this right now i am in global domain you can see i am in top domain that's why i am able to see this data which is a part of some other domain and this other domain which is kcme is a child of the top right the global so right now i am able to see this data uh, just do one thing let me open one more which belongs to global so 1001 is from acme domain and 1 and 9009 is from global domain okay so now let me see both of this incident when we move to some other domain let's switch the domain to msp technician okay now let me reload this one because this belongs to acme domain you see the data is not available i am not able to see because i am in some different domain that domain is not related to this particular domain that's why i am not able to see it if i reload this remember this is a part of global domain right this incident is created in global domain let me reload yes i am able to see it okay i am able to see this particular data see this particular incident because it is a part of global domain okay so i think this is clear now let me make some changes here okay now let me configure this form and right now i am in which domain i am in msp technician so let me configure this particular form of incident okay so now let's go to configure form layout i am removing the description from the form layout 
Okay. Now click on save. You see the message. A new form section has been inserted to override this for this domain. Okay. It means it is saying that for this particular domain, they have created one new section. And that section is different from the global one, which was available for all the domains, or you can say for global domain. Okay. So now you see description is not available here. So now if I go back to some other domain, let's say, let me move back to global. Let me reload the same incident. I'm able to see the description here, right? Because right now I'm in global domain and in global domain, there are no changes in the form layout. One more interesting thing I will show you. Let me open the incident form top ACME. So this incident, I'm able to see because this incident belong to ACME domain, right? So now let me move to ACME domain. This is ACME domain. And this is our same data, same uh, incident, right? Top ACME. This data belongs to ACME domain, right? If I reload it here, I will be able to see it properly, right? And let me reload this one also. So you see here in ACME domain, I'm able to see this data, but again with the same global settings because the changes which I have made is only for technician domain. So any other domain will be excluded from any kind of changes. Only MSP technician or its child will be able to see that. So now again, don't get confused. Very interesting thing is going on. This data belongs to ACME domain. Let me make changes in this, okay? Let me remove description from here. Again, for ACME domain. So let's go to from layout. So let's not do it for description. Let me do it for urgency, okay? So that you will not get confused. So I have removed urgency from ACME domain, okay? So now let me go back to global domain. Let me open first of all this one, which I have changed. So this is the same here. You see again in global domain also, I'm not able to see the urgency. Why? Because this data belongs to ACME domain. And in ACME domain only, we have removed the urgency from this form. Okay, now let me reload this. Here I am able to see the urgency field. Because this data does not belong to ACME domain. This data belongs to some other domain. That's why no changes are here. So why I am uh, concentrating more here? Because I am trying to explain that until unless you make changes in the domain, the same global thing is available to you. As soon as you make changes in the child, these changes will be visible to the user even you are in global domain also. It means even you are in parent uh, domain also. The same concept is there for all other things also, right? As soon as you make changes in the child, the parent uh, you know, rules or parent IRE rules, all these things will be overridden by the child settings child configurations. So the same is seeing here. Right now I am in global domain, but still I am seeing this form as I was seeing it in ACME domain. So a bit complex, but repeat this video. I have explained it very beautifully. Okay. You will understand it properly. Like this, the same concept goes for script also. Anything which is under global domain. Anything which is under domain separation, you will be able to see that. So I hope you understand it properly just revise it if you have any question let me know in the comment section as well as if there is any mistake here you can just point out to me i will improve it i will correct it immediately because i am also a learner like you okay i am learning things and sharing the things with you and don't forget to see these courses right first two videos are available you can check the quality of the courses both in Hindi and English in the first two video and decide to buy these courses. I hope it will help you a lot.
till then thank you so much bye bye